the scenic world is a private family on tourist attraction located in Katoomba in the Blue Mountains New South Wales Australia about 100 kilometers west of Sydney Scenic World is home to four attractions the scenic railway the scenic skyway the scenic cableway and the scenic walkway a 2.4 km elevated boardwalk through ancient rainforest the scenic world top station is situated at an elevation of 1030 meters above sea level I'm Joe. I'm Joseph. No, Joe. Joe. What's your name, sir? Daniel. Can I get something? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Built in 1958, the Scenic Skyway is a cable-driven conveyance at Scenic World. It travels a distance of 384 meters across the gorge above the Katoomba Falls, 270 meters above the valley floor. In November 2005, a second station on the opposite cliff face opened, allowing Skyway passengers to disembark and follow bushwalking trails to the nearby Echo Point. The passenger cabin was since then replaced a few times with more spacious and modern cabins. In November 2017, the latest Scenic Skyway cabin was launched, offering visitors a more spacious ride with easier boarding as well as free Wi-Fi. The cabin also has a section of transparent glass floor which allows the visitors to see the valley below. The scenic railway is an inclined railway now used for tourism. The steepest section of track is on an incline of 52 degrees which is 128% gradient contained within a total distance of 310 meters. Operating as a working mine since 1878, the colliery workers began supplementing their income from 1928 by carrying passengers on weekends and public holidays. For six pence a ride, visitors could travel the incline in a purpose-built 12-passenger car named Jersey. It was originally constructed for a coal and oil shale mining operation in the Jamison Valley in the 1880s. in order to haul the coal and shale from the valley floor up to the escarpment above. From 1928 to 1945, it carried coal during the week and passengers at weekends. The coal mine was closed in 1945, after which it remained as a tourist attraction only.
All right, everybody, welcome down. It's got to Dara and Dara Country. Here we have Jefferson Valley Great First Board Walk Stars. As we do, stop the doors on the left will be opening. You can head up the stairs and explore the lovely Tabernacle Walk. We'll take you directly to the cableway back up the scenic road. The scenic railway makes many claims to be the steepest passenger railway, the steepest funicular, and the steepest incline in the world. However, the railway uses a winch system and no counterbalancing carriage. Therefore, it is an inclined lift rather than a funicular. As of 2017, the steepest true funicular is the Stoosban in Switzerland. Passengers embark on a thrilling, unique journey in the 84-seat, glass-roofed, red train carriage. The train travels through sandstone cliffs, through a rock tunnel, beside the tree-covered orphan rock, before emerging to stunning panoramic views of the lush ancient rainforest. It is open every day of the year, with a journey operating every 10 minutes, meaning that this historic train can treat up to 840 passengers each hour to an exhilarating memorable ride through the mountains. Walking under the canopy of an extraordinary temperate rainforest located in the Jamison Valley, the scenic walkway is a 500 meter elevated boardwalk, an easy 10 to 20 minute walk between the railway and cableway stations. Scenic World's rainforest is home to many species of native flora and fauna some dating back to the Jurassic era. Visitors can explore elements of the site's coal mining history, including the original mine entrance, a replica miner's hut and scale bronze sculpture 
of a miner and his pit pony. Protected by the rainforest canopy, the walkway has its own microclimate, quite distinct from the weather at the top of the escarpment. Cool on hot summer days, it comes to life in the rain. Native bird life becomes more vocal, colors are amplified, and mist confounds your sense of distance. Constructed to improve existing walking trails that caused erosion, the walkway immerses visitors in the environment with minimal ecological impact. No trees were damaged or removed during construction and this minimal intervention approach is continued, intervening in the natural regeneration of the ecosystem only when preventative safety work is necessary. In 2000, Scenic World installed the Scenic Cableway, the 84-passenger cable car that passes over a 25-meter high tower on the edge of the cliff and then descending 510 meters to the bottom station in the Jamison Valley 200 meters below. Like the redevelopment of the railway and skyway, the cableway had a replacement of its cabin in 2018. The National Park is one of the eight protected areas that in 2000 was inscribed to form part of the UNESCO World Heritage. The Blue Mountains National Park is the most visited national park in New South Wales.
National Park is renowned for the Three Sisters rock formation. The Three Sisters is the Blue Mountains most spectacular landmark. Located at Echo Point, Katoomba, around 2.5 kilometers from the Great Western Highway, this iconic visitor attraction is experienced by millions of people each year. The Three Sisters is essentially an unusual rock formation representing three sisters who, according to Aboriginal legend, were turned to stone. The region is a bushland paradise featuring epic rock formations and sprawling mountain tops. It is an ancient region as old as 300 million years, even around during the dinosaur era. Listed as one of Sydney's best day activities, the Blue Mountains is swarming with attractions from epic natural wonders to unique flora and fauna. The steam cloak was commissioned by former managing director of the attraction, Philip Hammond, a cloak fanatic and built by Canadian Raymond Saunders. The clock is driven by a miniature engine powered by steam produced in the scenic world workshop and piped underground for 70 meters. Every 10 minutes, the engine winds the clock by pulling tiny call skips by a railway incline. The weight of the skips drives the clock mechanism. The design is based on the original railway built to haul coal up from the rainforest floor to the cliff top at the Katoomba site. Twelve brass whistles on the top play tunes at different time intervals. While returning to our hotel in Campbell Town, we came across this beautiful sunset. Thank you for watching my video. To watch more of my travel videos, please visit and subscribe to my YouTube channel.